Hello, thanks for watching this short video focusing on you know, expenses and vendor transactions and accounts payable type work using the new QuickBooks Online. So I'm on the homepage, QBO. Of course, in the expense section, I can drill in and look at a report on expenses from here. Under the activities section, which needs attention, anything in red, I can scroll down and I see a bill for Norton Lumber and building materials. 205 bucks. Let's go ahead and click on that. It's actually going to bring me to the bill. And transactions look very consistent to each other within the new QuickBooks Online. Now there is a link transaction, so I can even see what that is, and it tells me this is a link to a purchase order. Okay, so I brought in a pump and a rock uh, fountain uh, inventory parts, and I'm using, of course, FIFO in my QuickBooks Online Plus. I can go ahead and make a payment right here, but first, this is where I can track the terms, and then the bill date, due dates. Right now, it's overdue. Uh, their mailing address, put in some account details if you need to. I can go ahead and look at a transaction journal, see what was credited and debited, make a copy of the bill, delete it, or look at, you know, the activity log or audit history on it. I can either save and close or save and new to go create a, a different bill. And you can always atta make, attach documents to uh, bills as well in QuickBooks Online. So I'm going to go ahead and click Make Payment. It brings it to a bill payment. And I can just go ahead and click save and close. It shows me the description, the bill date, the due date, excuse me, original amount, open balance, payment. Go ahead and click save and close. And that bill a bill payment's taken care of, brings me back to the bill. Now is marked paid. And you click on it, it'll link me to the bill payment. So it's really easy to see the history on a transaction, particularly a bill as well. So you can do it from the home page as well. Also on the left, you guys have probably seen vendors, and I, this will bring me to the vendor list, and I actually have a money bar for vendors, much like I would have for customers or sales. Open purchase orders, open bills, here are the overdue bills, and it shows me the actual vendors. When I drill in on Broshton Insurance and Agency, it brings me to that specific vendor center for that vendor, in which case I can then go ahead and make a payment, which will bring me back to the bill payment window. Also under Create New, I can create a bill, expense, check, or purchase order. Let's go ahead and do an expense. This would be like a cash expense that you do. And it would be cool if we had that in the desktop, so to speak. I guess most people are using the check. But this is literally not a check form. It's just a cash expense. Now, when I'm writing the expense, notice on the right, the drawer tells me that I already have a bill. Or am I sure? Do I really want to write an expense form for this? Or do I want to add the bill to it? When I click Add, it's going to change it to a bill payment check. So I wanted to show that type of functionality, too, where we prevent you prevent users from making more common uh, you know, f workflow mistakes with bills and bill payments and do they write a check, do I do a bill payment, do I write a cash expense or credit card charge, do I go to the bill payment if there's an open bill. I'm glad that we warn folks that way. It just really prevents errors and then you get better accurate reporting. So again, from the vendor list, I can see open bills are overdue and even go ahead and uh, make a payment or create a bill or an expense for a particular vendor right from there. Also, you can go to the transactions uh, section of the left-hand panel and go down to expenses. And here I can see all of my different expense types. And yes, it does include bills and purchase orders, credit card charges and credit card credits, cash expense, checks. And then I can filter it by, you know, just a bill and a particular vendor apply that there and it shows me the status overdue 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 those are paid open and what's the next logical step so and then i can go back to bill payment to go ahead and pay off that bill now from here i can also create vendor transactions so i have a bill expense check or purchase order right from there let's go to the bill itself it brings me to a bill i'm just going to create another bill for a different vendor books by bessie and it remembers right, from before $75. I can even make it billable to a customer if I want, which I think I will, just to show that type of functionality. I'll do it to Bill's Windsurf Shop. And is it taxable? I'm going to go ahead and make that uh, taxable. So here is a bill. And I can, these are for account details for different accounts. You have your chart of accounts listed there you can choose from, as well as item details where I could per, maybe purchase a particular uh, item or something like that. In this case, we'll go ahead and purchase a rock fountain from her. And I'm going to go ahead and click save and close. If you want to make the bill recurring, recurring transaction, right at the bottom, make recurring. Go ahead and click save and close, and now I have a bill. Back on the vendor list, Books by Bessie. One open bill where I can go to from there, make the payment, 
or I could actually create a bill or an expense. Here's where you can add new vendors or even import vendors from Excel. Quite a bit from the vendor list. And then finally, another way to access vendor type transactions would be under the Quick Create area at the top of the program. And I can go ahead and show more. And under vendors, I have expense, check, bill, pay bill, purchase order, vendor credit, and credit card credit. Let's actually go to a vendor credit here. And we'll choose books by Bessie. Again, the transactions look a lot the same. And we'll go down to that same account we had. And say it was, you know, you had $50 credit from her. Put in your reference number. And go ahead and click Save and Close. When I go into Vendors and then Pay Bills. And I'm going to look at my checking account. And then show all the bills there. And look at books by Bessie, I actually have a credit there that I can apply and it automatically applies that so I'm only paying $150 because remember we just created that credit. When I click on it, it'll bring me back to that transaction. And here's what the pay bills window would look like and I can go ahead and just pay the bill. One bill is paid, I can return to pay bills, print checks, or go to the bill payment list. In this case I'm going to go back home. So several ways to get to the particular vendor transactions, whether you're going from the vendor list itself and using the money bar to drill into any open bills you have and then going to the particular vendor center for that vendor and making the payment or making the payment from here or you go into the transactions area and clicking on expenses and making the payment from there or creating a new bill expense check or purchase order or perhaps you're going to the quick create icon and creating the expense check etc from under the vendors menu here so that basically covers the different access points and how to get around how easy it is to just work with accounts payable, work with your vendors, and of course uh, also cash expenses, credit card charges, things like that, all within QuickBooks Online. I hope that was helpful. Have a great day.